Sen, it pleases me to know you are alive. Death Singer, this is the end. Yes. I'm afraid it is. Sen, soon you will be the last surviving Ultaris. The others, they are all dead. How, how did this happen? <clears throat> Please, Sen. Master Agus! Who is he? You are holding Voltar in your hands, Achillean. This is the master of the Voltaris. But he's so young. If the other clans find out about this, they will surely kill him. Maybe we should just kill him. He's Voltaris, after all. I will not murder an injured Ardoni under my care. You must understand, Achillean. Many of these Voltaris now fight. They are alive. I will do what I must to shield him from harm. Perhaps I may even begin to heal the wounds between our clans. I wish to thank you for rescuing me. I thought if the sea didn't swallow me up, someone would surely kill me afterwards. Yeah, I wonder why that is. Is there anything I can do to help? I don't know how to catch fish. But I'd be happy to learn. I am sure fishing is not very exciting compared to what you grew up with. I would welcome the change of pace. Also, I don't exactly have anyone else to talk with.
years have I kept these items secret, but I think the time is right for them to be returned to their owner. I thought I lost these. In the ocean. We were unsure and worried of your intentions at first. But you have proven yourself an honorable and virtuous Ardoni. They belong to you. Thank you, Master Agus. I wish that all the clans one day share your compassion. It is only fair that I teach you one of my skills in return. A skill that may one day save your life. I've never even held a sword before. As I had never caught a fish until meeting you. Everything can be learned with time and effort. the nether is invading locations around Ardonia, and that there is going to be a tournament in a few days. A new champion will arise to wield the Prime Songs once again. Why did the clans insist upon using them? When will they learn to put those dangers to rest? Gressis, what's wrong? Do you not know? The Prime Songs have been used against my people for generations. I watched them kill my master and hundreds more. You should enter the tournament, Ingressus. You are the best swordsman I have ever known, and you claim to be equally skilled with songs. For what purpose? If you win, the Prime Songs will be yours. For a time, at least. You can then reveal yourself as Voltaris and show the people you mean them no harm. Perhaps you're right. And after defeating the Nether, I could use the songs to help locate and protect the rest of my clan. Thank you, Achillian. You have been like a brother to me. As have you, Ingressus. The others are all dead, Aegis. Give me the final Prime Song, or you will suffer the same fate! What evil has corrupted you, Ingressus? I taught you better than this. I raised you better. What you taught me was that the Ardoni were forgiving, <laughs> and that I might have a chance to redeem my clan. But you were wrong. And I was wrong to think so. The other clans are stubborn and resentful. They looked upon me with hate and disgust.
caresses. Look around you. Look at what you have done. You grew up with these people. This was your clan. What you are proposing put yourself and your entire clan in great danger, Ingresses. On the contrary, my clan should be safe. I will join you in this attempt to overthrow Pythus. Should we succeed, the Voltaris will see a brighter future. And if we fail, then I alone will fall. My clan. The Voltaris. We will survive. We have always survived. Do you see now, Sen? You're right. They're all gone. And soon, I will join them. Ingresses, I'm... I'm sorry. I tried. All my life, I tried to save my people from exile and slaughter. But I was wrong. So many times. Wrong to ally with the Nether. Wrong to kill my closest brother. I allowed the Prime Songs to destroy my very existence. There were times I even forgot my own name. <laughs> and now it is too late. Too late to make amends. I have lost everyone. The Voltaris are no more. You haven't lost everyone. I will restore the Voltaris clan, and everyone will know who fought to save them. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Senna. <laughs> Many times have I watched the sunset, watched as the sky turned bright with colors, the colors of my clan. I am glad to see the sunset one more time.
three smiling ones again. Not so fast. Let's see how you do when I've got these four weapons. Wise Ardoni once told me that our strength comes not from the power of our weapons, but rather how we choose to wield what power we have been given. I'm sorry. We'll get back to work right away. And who's to say you aren't doing work right now? The war may be over, but the need to fight and defend our home will never truly be gone. Continue training, you two. But not with this. Afterwards, I want you both to help your parents in the fields. They've been looking for you all day. The teachings of Thalius live on. They are good words to live by. He wasn't the only one to speak those words, you know. Pythus said something very similar in his final moments. But we don't want to be taking after Pythus now, do we? <laughs> no, but it makes me wonder. How much do we know our enemies? Come on, Sen. We're needed up north. Gresses Voltaris and the false Nether King Pythus were both killed, the war came to a decisive end. The slaves of the Nether were freed, only to find the overworld scarred by countless battles and its people mourning for lost loved ones. Yet in these dark times was an opportunity to rebuild. Cities and homes which were destroyed were carefully reconstructed, some in their previous image, others built new. As the boundaries between territories and races faded, the Six Kingdoms united once again. Crown Peak was restored to a city of diplomacy and democracy, not a throne for a king to rule from. Carthen has been making amends with Sidonia, primarily through renewal of their farmland, who in turn has been providing much needed food and supplies to the beleaguered people of Carthen. Despite years of tension, the two kingdoms are content to finally be at peace. The Voltaris clan was reborn, welcoming all Ardoni who wished to join. They have reclaimed their original homeland, which now bears the name New Voltaria. A ceremony was held to commemorate their return, and many across Ardonia were invited. Keep your eyes closed. You know I don't like surprises. Can't you just tell me what it is already? Almost there. All right, now open them. <gasps> do you, do you like it? I didn't really have the time to. I love it. Hey, I thought we were gonna eat first. Oh, you mean this cake? I'll race it to the top. You know, it's not nice to make fun of the handicap. <laughs> Sorry, Gramps. Merlin here, Certified Communications Emissary. Message from Sen Voltaris. Ah, yeah. The new Voltaris Master, right? He would like to inform you that his clan is being united with the others once again. And after hearing of your actions at Felden, he has invited you both to attend. Oh, that's very nice of him. But I think we'll pass. We only just got settled in, and my leg needs some time to heal. 
It's common courtesy to compensate an emissary, such as myself, for services rendered. What? Oh, right. I thought you couldn't see yourself settling down. Well, not alone at least. The masters of the five clans declared a state of peace and harmony for the Ardoni, and vowed to uphold that peace as long as the masters ruled. Queen Abigail, first queen of the End, is working alongside her remaining two Ender Knights to restore the End to its former strength. A few of the surviving Ender Dragon eggs were brought out of the End and into the overworld in hopes of finding new Ender Knights, regardless of wealth or gender. The Ender Knights will watch over and protect Ardonia, guardians against dangers from outside this world as well as within. Volcanus, now King of the Nether, has left the overworld and returned to his own kingdom, which is now in turmoil after their defeat and change of leadership. It was never my desire to become king. I merely wish to undo the injustice my brother caused. Well, that's good. A king shouldn't be motivated by personal glory. The real trouble will be convincing your people to follow you after you've fought against many of them. A difficult task, I'm sure. But I will do what I can to ensure the Nether and the realms remain at peace. Thank you for everything you have done, Volcanus. Both of our lives have been rather unprecedented. You will always be welcome among us as an ally, and a good friend. Abigail, I know a human's lifespan is relatively long compared to that of an authority's, and you have many responsibilities to take care of. But I hope that you, or he, will make time to convene, and to remain friends will possibly... The Prime Songs were deemed too dangerous to remain in the overworld. They were given to the Ender Knights and hidden deep within the uncharted realm of the End, in a vault where they would never again be used. And thus concluded the Second Great War. However, in the ashes, new fires have sprung. Outlaws, bandits, and other criminals seeking to take advantage of the temporary weakness have emerged. Even the undead are returning to Ardonia in greater numbers than seen in centuries. The aftermath may appear grim, but the survivors retain hope, for they will continue to fight for the land and lives which they have already given so much to protect. The Second Great War, 14th Wall of Time. It's perfect. Good work, Natsuki. We had to rewrite a few walls in order to include one for the fall of the Voltaris. Hopefully by keeping our history accurate, we won't make the same mistakes again. Let us hope. Do you remember the stories Thalius would tell during his visits? How could I ever forget? We never missed hearing a single one. I always would imagine us on those adventures. Exploring distant lands, fighting monsters, protecting those in danger. It was inspiring to dream of a life more... magical. The worst part of these tales was hearing them end, 
I was always wishing there was something more. A another adventure over the hill. Another journey on the horizon. And how do you see our story ending? <laughs> I think we're just beginning. Our world, Ardonia, is a vast land, home to many diverse people, strange creatures, and dangerous monsters. It is also home to many stories, like our own. We are the Knights of Ardonia, the guardians of the land and protectors of the people. We stand united against whatever evils threaten our worlds. Many more will walk alongside our path as we journey forward. Some may join us, yet others will return to their own adventures. Whether we will see them again remains a mystery. There are those of us who will falter, and even those who will fall. Their sacrifices will never be forgotten and their efforts will inspire everyone who remains. However dark the road ahead may get, and however powerful our enemies may be, we go forth to whatever adventure awaits. Our story has no end.